Hey folks, what's Welcome back to another Repel Master video. And tonight we are getting the new uh, Fairy and Normal Egg Mons, right? Uh, which honestly seems like a really, really long time since we last had our egg event. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know that exact dates, but like it's been a while, it feels like. Um, but yeah, um, fun stuff. Uh... And and also they they did take off the uh, the stamina res restriction on on these egg egg events right, um, so that's nice. Uh, however, what is not nice is this set of egg mods. <laughs> Honestly, um, none of them are very fantastic, right? Um, but hey, don't have to take my word for it. Let's let's go over them first. So. Um, so the, the, the Pokemon are Meowth, which is a rerun, so we're not going to talk about Meowth, it's the same as the Meowth that we had before, and then the Shinies will be Porygon, which doesn't evolve, um, Iglybuff, and, uh, Cleffa, right, which all three of them have shiny forms, um, so the Shinies are Striker, Porygon, um, Striker, Wigglytuff, I think, and then Support Clefable, if I remember correctly, uh, so anyways, let's go over them. So first of all, the shiny Porygon, Striker Porygon. So, um, Striker Porygon, uh, first of all, shiny Porygon looks really, really cool, right? Uh, however, the unit itself, I'd have to say not, not, not very fantastic. If you look at its stats, it has okay HP, okay attack, special attack, defenses are fine, the speed's not terrible, right? It's just... Overall, pretty average stats. If you get it to, obviously, 5-star, you know, 3 affinity, 20, all that, right? If you fully invest into it, right? If, if, if you don't, then obviously it's not going to be that, um, the stats aren't going to be that great, right? But if you do fully invest into it, it has some solid stats. Um, looking at the moves, however, is where I got to say I'm not a huge fan. Um, you got Tackle, which is a 1-gauge, no one cares, because uh, you're a striker. Uh, and then you got... X special attack, sharply raised, oh yeah, he's X special attack. And then you got arm on my mark, which is plus one defense, special defense, and crit. So you basically get plus two special attack, plus two, or plus four special attack, plus two crit, and then plus two defense, special defense, which is not terrible, right? And then your main damaging move is try attack, which is not good um, in this game, unfortunately. Uh, because, uh, because of multitude of things, first of all, you are normal types, so you're just hitting nothing for super effective, and if you're not hit hitting anything for super effective, that's just, that's a two times, like, multiple, just gone, right? You, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a lot, two times multiplier is a lot, that's just gone, and, um, it has a 20% chance of either burning, paralyzing, or frozen, which, by the way, yesterday I thought, I was hoping for, like, poison on my Togekiss' trial attack, which, is isn't a thing. You don't poison on try attack. Um, it was like midnight, and 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 obviously, not in the right mind at the time. But uh, yeah, none of these are really really great because of the randomness, right? Because usually when you want to use try attack, you want to use it for to trigger like some other units, um, you know, passes, whether it be like paralysis energy or burn synergy or something like that. Uh, you want to know what you're getting, and with this, you you don't know what you're getting, right? Um, obviously, just having like a random stat in there sometimes is beneficial, but it's not like the biggest deal in the world, right? And the big thing about Tri Attack is because it has all those like um, extra effects, its base power is really, really bad. Usually, for normal type attacks, they give it like a lot more base power just to compensate for the fact that they don't hit for super effective. But Tri Attack, even with the like, buff, it's like not that great. It's like 140 at max, which is like not terrible, but also again, nothing like, I mean, like Hydro Pump's like what 150 or 160 or something like you know around that range and then again higher pump could hit for super effective it does have the drawback of being low accuracy but then you just like these these benefits that it has just doesn't make up for you know the low bp over here so you're not hitting for much right and you're to a normal type and on top of that um your passives don't make up for it. a lot of people say well it's critical strike too that's really good right yeah, it's good, but it's not going to save Porygon as a unit. It's still not going to do that much damage, um, and it's just... And Tridex just not a great move, unfortunately. Um, Dauntless is cool, I guess. Victory Lap is that uh, that passive that you get um, where uh, I think it's like once you take out a unit, you get like a guaranteed crit next, which is obviously not, not great, <laughs> right? And then it's just overall not that good. Um, however, however, however... 
uh shiny Pokemon is very cool so if you still want it you know you go for it right um i mean a lot of like really bad units could like be like really hard stages in the game so again if you like it just invest into it I i'm just i'm just saying like objectively speaking it's not that great of a unit but again if you like it you can still invest into it right moving on uh support porygon let's check that out uh in terms of the stats uh at max right max meaning not like 20 or 20 but like max affinity and, and rarity um so okay it's defensive stats hp is not terrible everything else is not good um tackle one gauge spam for supports are always nice x special defense all is cool let's keep it cool is cool raises special defense and speed for our whole team and then you got swift which is no one cares and then you got Dauntless, first aid two, revenge boost. It has an okay -ish kit, right? Um, again, yeah, special defense for a whole team is nice. And you can max it out with your trainer move. And a little bit of speed over here with, with the one gauge spam. Um, and then again, Dauntless, special camp, attack can't be lured, which you don't care about. First aid two is okay. Revenge boost is fine. Um, it's only Revenge Boost 1, though, but yeah, it's overall, it's an okay-ish kit, but completely useless because Xerneas is a thing, and Xerneas is just this, but, like, a billion times better, plus you don't have to invest all your resources into it, right? So, it looks okay, but there's just no point, right? Plus, there's better units, <laughs> uh, like, outside of, like, just Xerneas, right? Um, if you want, like, a good... Obviously, it does give you a bit of speed as well, but like outside of that, you can like use Loon Tone or or Salamence or 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 Starmie even even if you don't want to use Xerneas for some reason. But no point, unfortunately. Here, as for Tech Porygon, um, has really really good speed, as you can see. Um, good speed. Um, okayish defenses, I guess. HP is not terrible. Um, attack special attack not great, right? As for your moves, you got X speed for even more speed, and then you got defenses, buffs, gradual heals, tri attack again, stamina reserve, dirty fighting dauntless. It's just striker Porygon, but like it, like it fits its purpose better, but it's not as good. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, none of the Porygons are that great. So, anyways, moving on to the weekly toughs. Um, so starting with the um, physical striker. Remember, this is not the shiny; it's the support that's the shiny, right? I think it's support shiny, and then um, and then for Cluffa, it's striker shiny. Yeah, I think I yeah I think that's how it goes. All right, again, same stats, right? Striker. Um, as for the moves, you got body slam, which is not great. Uh, dire hit. Uh, on my mark, which is defense and crit, so you max out your crit, and then you have plus two defenses. And then your third move, or, or fourth move, I guess, is actually... Okay, so with all of Weily Tufts, um, what it actually is, is, like, once they evolve, they change their moves, right? So this is actually the pre-evolved move, so once you evolve, Body Slam should turn into Disarming Voice, and then you should add, like, a fourth move, which, in Weily Tufts' case, is Double Edge, if you if you check uh, Absol's document, right? Um, so you should have double edge here, which you do have fairy shift on double edge with standfast three, uh, is also not too great, not too great, right? Physical fairy type strikers, obviously you would definitely want to go with Jigglypuff instead, but if, even if you don't have Jigglypuff, like you don't, you just, you don't need, <laughs> you don't really need a physical fairy <laughs> striker, right? Um, yeah, fairy double edge, not, not, not very good. Uh, moving on to support Wigglytuff. This one's the uh, this one should be the shiny one, right? Again, the stats should be the same. Uh, I'll just throw it up there for you guys. Um, support Wigglytuff is uh, two fourteen speed. Again, like the stats are the same as the other supports, right? Um, nothing too interesting in terms of like the stat wise, right? Um, it should be a bit higher because you have to like evolve it. I I think these aren't like Wiggly. I think. I think the Synchrid Helper has, like, the Iggly buff and um, Cleffa stats uh, and, and moves and all that stuff. But, yeah. Again, Body Slam turns into Disarming Voice. X Defense All is cool. Let's keep a cool raise defense and speed of your whole team. Uh, or Special Defense and, and Speed for your whole team. And then your, uh, your your final move should be Draining Kiss. And then you have Dauntless, First Aid 2, Revenge Boost 1. 
Um, unfortunately, you don't have Master Healer and Draining Kiss, and your special attack is insanely low. <laughs> so the defenses are nice, I'd say. Um, I don't think this. I don't think support Wigglytuff is terrible. It's definitely usable, but again, nothing. It's just nothing too crazy, right? Like if you want, if you want like a good um tank that could self heal, you could use Xerneas <laughs> again. You would see a very, very common theme among these um these fairy egg mods, which is a lot of them just can just completely just get replaced by Xerneas, right? So yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing here. Unfortunately, uh, moving on to Tech Wigglytuff. Um, Tech Wiggly, Wigglytuff. Let me let me throw these out there again. Same stats, all that stuff. This is, again pre-evolution. Uh, Buy time is also changed uh, into disarming voice. You have X speed, and then you have hang in there, which increases your defenses, and gradual heals, and then surprise to the fourth move is body slam. You put body slam back there again. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, fairy shift body slam, it's just, it's not good. Like, um, milk tank is a better body slam paralysis unit than this is, probably. And milk tank's also not very, very good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, to the Clefables. Clefable, Clefable, Clefable. Um, I right, let's start with Striker. This is, this is the, uh, the Striker one, right? Striker Clefable. Um, which is also the shiny one. This is the shiny Clefable, five star. Let's get all that stuff right. Um, again, those are offensive stats. Got draining kiss, X special attack, race you, um, which is plus crit and speed, which does have solid buffs. And then the fourth move should be um, moon blast. And then you got escape artist, super duper effective one, power reserves two. Um, it's okay, but again, you have Xerneas, which is also a moon blast user which you could you know you could grid Xerneas for moon blast and Xerneas has a grid which could also give you um you know it'll also give you moon blast power ups on the sync grid to make the moon blast have even more like okay yeah you do have like super duper effective one over here but like that's not a really big deal so again another unit outclassed by Xerneas unfortunately uh moving on to support Clefable over here uh, draining Kiss, Potion, which is cool, Rainstorm, uh, Special Attack and Speed of your team, which is cool. It's kind of like the Roxanne thing, except you have to use it twice. It's just not as good as Roxanne's, <laughs> right? And then your, uh, your um, I think the fourth move is like Play Rough or something, right? And then you got Antitoxin, Flame, uh, flame Proof, Escape Artist, also not very good, unfortunately. Um... Maybe you could use make use of the potion in some cases, and then like the speed and special attack. But then again, uh, it's it is slightly unique, but also not like a big deal either, right? Um, moving on to technical fable, another play rougher, right? Draining kiss X speed, keep it up and play rough. Sharply raised speed, gradual heals, and you have on a roll, play rough on a roll, Sam reserve. Um, uh, sure, but, like, you have, like, Ramble, which also does that, which, again, maybe you'd say, like, Clay, uh, Clefable is probably better than Gramble, but then again, even if it is, like, if even if you do think Clef this Clefable is better than Gramble, it's, like, not that much better, and Gramble is also not that great. Um, I don't know. I, you know what? I think Gramble's better. I think Gramble's just much, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think, um... Uh, yeah, Gramble also has a uh, charm, right? Uh, yeah, you, you know what? Gramble's better. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, there's not much use for uh, Clefable, I think. So, yeah, overall, uh, none of the um egg mods are too super. Uh, obviously, again, if you want to level up any of these, um, because you like them, you like their shiny versions, that's fine, right? They all have uses. It's just that, like, again, a lot of them just gets like completely outclassed by Xerneas, unfortunately. So you can't really do much about that. So anyways, that's really this one. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know guys think in the comments down below. Like for this video, so on our channel for some more Pokemon Masters uh, content. Good luck on uh, hatching those shinies, because at least they look cool. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next one.